everybody. Welcome to my channel. Your boy Tony from Cali once again. HPTV bringing to you live. Today we got World Broadcast Breaking News. Okay? We actually call it Broadcast Breaking News or World Broadcast Breaking News. Hey everybody, your boy Tony from Cali once again. HPTV. I'm back again. Out here, Whitney Library. It's getting late. It's probably about 6, 7 o'clock in the evening right here. I just met a, a very interesting young man. Come on into the camera here. Talk to the people. Tell everybody what you do. Tell him. This is Ian. I mean, and I'm an alcoholic. No. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I'm a YouTube content creator, and I mostly just do everything for fun. I don't like most people when they start up the YouTube channel. They're just like, I want to make this into a job, but you can't go into trying to turn it into a job as thinking of it as a job. If you go into a job, you're just gonna sit there. It's like when I go to my job, I'm just like, <sighs> right, gotta, gotta do this gotta. and I gotta do this. But when you're going into saying that you're doing it because you want to do it. Your content's gonna be so much better than you could have imagined. More people are gonna find it. Just like how I would have never imagined I've already gotten to 24 subscribers. I'm almost a quarter of the way to 100. It's not just a keep big doing it. marker. No, no, you, just you got these YouTubers hitting like Roman Atwood mm -hmm. last week. He hit 9 million mm -hmm. subscribers. And it's just like. I will never make it to there. No, no, no. no. Don't thinking. say that. Don't yeah. say that. But you know the thing about it is, I'm gonna tell you this, you know, uh, since you brought that up. Never compare yourself to a lot. I mean, you have people that you, you may idolize and they say, wow, you, you want to be like that guy or that's, and that's fine. I'm just saying, don't get discouraged because like even for me today, hey guys, I just put out a, I'm going to tell you this. I put a GoFundMe uh, page out, right? Yeah. I did a GoFundMe page yesterday because I told you my, my scooter busted all up. It actually split in half. The, uh, the columns, the column broke, busted, and then the scooter split in half. It's a long story. I had a lot of stuff on there. That's why I surprised you haven't seen it. I used to have music on there and all kinds of stuff on there. And plus my weight too, because I'm a little heavy. Yeah, I'm a big guy. Yeah. Me too. But the thing of it is that I put a GoFundMe page out there and a lot of people say, oh, you know, that's not going to work. You don't know anybody. No one's going to invest. The thing about it is if I you focus on that, if I go back and then I checked it already and you say, oh, how many donations? Well, you only got one donation or I got no, no donations. If you look, look at that, you can get discouraged really quick. Yeah. So what you do is you just leave it alone. You put it out there. Um, I got or I faith. I got faith in the people out there. Hey, you're going to support your boy. Hey, I'm out here. You see what I'm doing? HBTV. I'm still doing it. Like I said, my back is hurting right now. I got to walk home. I got to walk about a mile home. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to do it because that's what it's all about. It's about the passion. I'm out here because I want to be out here. Yeah. Okay. Now, if this was a regular, if this is a construction job and, and I told you my back is all messed up right now and you want to have me out here, even though the money's good, it wouldn't be. It wouldn't be. I wouldn't be doing the company a good job. Yeah. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be uh, benefiting the company. I wouldn't be happy. I'd probably be out here complaining, going, "Ah, I'm hurt. My back hurt." Yeah. They don't want to hear that. So the thing about it is, no matter where you are, if you got 24 subscribers, like you said, that's more power to you. I think I. Only, I've only got 50, about 54 subscribers. I haven't been on the YouTube. I've been on there, you know, maybe I've been on there a while actually. But I haven't been looking for subscribers. That was that's not my thing. Yeah, you can't fish for subscribers. You gotta let the subscribers come to you. It's like you gotta when you put your content out, you're going this like, hey, this is me. This is what I wanna do, and I'm giving it to you guys. And if someone looks at it and they're just like, Oh, this guy's cool. I like what he's doing. And they subscribe to you to see more of what you're doing. Just like how there's the people who sell out and like every other video is sponsored. Sure, they're making buku bucks at the end of the night. They've got over two million views on their video, but you're sitting there just like you're not the same you're not the kid who started out in his bedroom wanting having a passion for what he's doing like when you look at those youtubers but then you find the youtubers like one of the youtubers i love uh is uh mini lad he's a gaming youtuber he's uh i, think I heard of him yeah, yeah. I, think I, heard of him. I don't i don't remember how many subscribers he has but he's got like buku amount of subscribers and he he always thanks his fans and he's he always reminds us just like I started off as a young British boy in my bedroom. I never thought I'd get it to here. And he's now living in America. Mm -hmm. He's doing everything he wants to do. He has fans coming up to him in the streets saying, oh my God, you're a mini lad. <laughs> and it's just like, yes, because that, that is what you strive for as a creator. You want to be able to have it all, all out there, make the videos the way you want them, and have people love them so much that they go crazy for you. There you go, there you go. And you know, when you said that, I'm going to tell you another thing is, like, for some people, they have different reasons for put, putting their videos out there. Myself, I, helping people TV is to connect people, is to help them, is to show them, hey, you don't need a whole lot to do a whole lot. Like I said, that's why I got broadcast, World Broadcast News. That's why I had a broadcaster 
mobility scooter. That's why I had, I didn't tell you when I lived in my house, I had a, a jacuzzi. It wasn't a jacuzzi, it was a brocuzzi. And then I had my, uh, what, what else I was gonna tell you, what else we was talking about? Uh, Brocast University, I went to Brocast University and learned a lot about you know, technology and things that I need to learn. And Brocast University, I'll tell everybody about that. Brocast University is actually, this right here. This is the library right back here. Yeah, it's free to join. Um, if you don't have a library near you, and that's fine, you don't necessarily have to go to a library, you have internet nowadays. Yeah. We didn't have internet when I was young. We had encyclopedias and dictionaries. Yep. And most of us didn't have encyclopedias. My family didn't have any encyclopedias. We had to go and see, and look at the encyclopedias at another uh, at other people's uh, houses yeah. and to, to get about, we want to learn about information. So nowadays you have Wi-Fi, you have internet, um, I remember when the internet first came out, it was America Online, and it was a. Uh, I used to sell internet. I used to sell CWNet for the people that remember that in Sacramento. I used to sell internet services, and people didn't even know what internet was, and they was like, oh, I don't know what the internet is. Yeah, yeah, you weren't even born. And, um, and, 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 and people was like, well, what was internet? What's internet? So, you know, we've come a long ways. We have the technology right now, and where do we have the uh, internet? Where do we have internet? Right here on our phone, right here on our smartphone. You got your smartphone in your pocket. Right on your smartphone, you can get any information that you want. My goal is if I have anything that I can help people out there with, something that maybe you can't get, um, well, you're going to get it on the internet. You're still going to get it on the internet because this is our internet channel. And once you get, when, like you said before, HPTV evolved as a YouTube channel. Um, I used to look at it. I wanted it to be really big. I wanted it to really go big places and things like that. But now I'm just at that point where I'm just happy helping people no yeah. matter how big the channel gets. It's, it, it's not about the money anymore to me. It's one of those things where now I'm just, I'm living, I'm living the dream.